This is Daughter of Christ. Our dear Muslim friends, you keep telling us the miracle of Muhammad is the Quran. So let's share with you a miracle we've discovered. Theological disasters. In other words, disasters about the nature of Allah. Consider this famous surah, surah 109, where Muhammad is talking to the unbelievers. Look at verses 3 and 5, where Muhammad talks about the one he worships. He refers to Allah as, what I worship, ma abud. Dear Muslim friends, don't you find this strange? The word what refers to a thing and not a person. It should have said, whom I worship, which is different in Arabic. The word for that is men, here in the green, the word with the dot on top. For the non-Arabs, the word in question in the verse is ma, which simply means what, as the translation correctly states. Is the word that looks like a circle, linked to a dash, linked to a vertical line, and is pronounced as ma. Please remember what this looks like, and look it up in any Arabic grammar book. It refers to a thing without consciousness. For example, it can refer to a stone idol with famously known symbols carved in it, or to an object people touch for forgiveness purposes. Therefore, we must conclude that when Muhammad was referring to what he worshipped, it was a what and not a who, a thing and not a person. It may interest you to know that this is not the only time in the Quran Allah is referred to as a thing. Here, in Surah 92 verse 3, we see that same ma again. The translation would like you to believe it says, and he who created the male and the female. But if this were the case, it would have used the word men. Remember the one with the dot on top? But it doesn't. It uses the word ma, the thing without consciousness. So the correct translation is, and what created the male and the female? This is a glaring disaster in the Quran, as it seems to be a Freudian slip of a pagan 7th century mind that is used to referring to deity as an object. Dear Muslim friends, I hope you've benefited from this very simple Arabic lesson. But if you're still not convinced, let's look back at Surah 109 one last time. Even if we ignore all the previous points, let me ask you, does this Surah strike you as a miracle? I don't worship what you worship. You don't worship what I worship. I don't worship what you worship. Does this really strike you as miraculous speech that no human mind can possibly produce something like it? To me, it sounds like something nine-year-old girls would skip to in a playground. We wonder if that was how those verses were inspired. Let's invite you to come to the Lord Jesus Christ, as no one can come to the Father except through him. He says, You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself a carved image. You shall not bow down to them.